Packaging needs to be changed. There's something seriously wrong with that man. So that's what you were busy with yesterday? <sighs> oh yeah. You called. Sorry I missed your call. I was in the middle of a fight with him. What was it? The kids? <laughs> Nothing. Just want to see if you want to have dinner with me. At least we will be better. I promise. I just need to settle this first. So, what do you think? Nice. Ma, your cooking is the best. Actually, this is Anne's recipe. I know you would like it, just like you would like Anne. Totally that, right, Buster? The gravy is delicious. I never said anything about Anne. I'm your mother. I can tell this girl's the right one for you. She's smart, can cook, close to family. Perfect daughter-in-law material. Daughter-in-law material? Bah. Oh. You understand, right? It was just lunch. Oh. Don't well, you agree, Bhaskar? Anne is perfect for Arjun. Um, did you add s extra spice? When is the next date? We only had lunch. There is no next date. Then fix one. Bhaskar, tell your son to fix another date with Anne. Kiran and her daughter are expecting it. Uh, well, if you, if you feel she's a nice girl and you want to pursue... Listen to me. Anne is your boss's daughter. And she likes you. Think of what this could do for your career. Speaking about my boss, I need to get to work. But your shift isn't till later. I need to get back home to get some things before I head to work. Arjun, I've told you so many times, you should stay here. This is closer to your hospital and I can look after you. Your laundry is taken care of, meals looked after. Ma, the food was delicious. Remember to start a date with Anne! I'm sorry, I know today is Saturday, family time, but... It's okay, don't worry about us. Do what you need to do. I'll be with the children. Have you got something fun planned to do with them? Oh, um, mm, really fun. So good looking. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Two lattes for the young ladies. Thank you. Enjoy. Thank you. <laughs> he called us ladies. He said six words to us today. Oh hi, Shruti. Hey, hi, Ben. Wow. What subject is this? So chin. I'm really sorry. They needed my ID to buy the beer and, and it's really hard to say no. It was Eddie, right? I know what it's like to be a stupid 18-year-old. Are you gonna tell mom? She'll, she'll kill me if she finds out. Promise me that you won't do something like this again. Promise. Does that mean you're not gonna tell mom? <laughs> what makes you think my punishment will be more strong than your mom's? 
you. <gasps> Adam, what happened? Uh, Melissa just told me she saw beer in Michael's room. It's settled already. How? Uh, yeah, you're too soft with the boy. Uh, I'm warning you. Uh, now it's drinking. Then smoking. After that, uh, drugs. Then jail. Are you? Huh? Girl's going to jail? I don't want girl to go to jail. No one's going to jail, okay? Nothing's going to happen to Michael. Hey, Michael has to be taught a lesson. If you can't do it, let the mother deal with him. Xueling's upset enough about work. I don't want to give her more problems. Anyway, I know how to deal with my son. What punishment you giving him? There's no need to punish him. He said the beer wasn't for him. And you believe him? Just like that? Yes. My children don't lie to me. I trust them. Yeah, Ama, we can tell by anything. Hey, uh, your young people uh, got a funny way of teaching children, you know. Talking, talking, talking. You should just give him the rotan. Uh. But Ma, it's so old-fashioned. But it's our custom. More wedding problems? Your sister here, uh -huh. Ma insists in giving out that telur pengantin. It's customary, what? Heard that? Boiled eggs are so old-fashioned. Chocolates as doggies are stylish, so it's okay. We have to follow tradition. Otherwise, the Pakcik and Makcik will start to gossip. But these are Belgium chocolates, Ma. Belgium chocolates. Belgium, Brunei, Bangladesh. Uh, I don't care lah. My wedding's less than a month away. If I don't get a caterer in time, we have to boil the 800 over eggs ourselves. Excuse me, we? Hi. Hey, Anne. Here to see your father. No, I'm actually here to see you. We need to talk. I heard you enjoyed my recipe. News travels fast. <laughs> Our mothers, they need some new hobbies. They need to find something new to talk about. Trust me, I'm as embarrassed as you are about the whole situation. <laughs> they are actually very excited about making this match. Oh, I'm sorry. I promise to speak to my mother. I'll break it to her nicely that she's pushing this to... I think they are right. We should see where this goes. This? It, it, it was just lunch. <laughs> Let's be frank. We make sense. We get along socially, intellectually. And I enjoy your company. Over that one lunch. We're professionals with demanding jobs. We don't have time or patience for silly rituals of dating. No time for romance? Exactly. I think this relationship has potential. We should explore it. Don't you agree? Are you... asking me... to marry you? Are you asking me to marry you? I just think we may have something here, don't you? Uh, I... It, 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 it's hard to say over that one lunch. Exactly. So we should meet for dinner then. Uh, my place, I'll cook. My parents would love to get to know you. Just me and your parents? Isn't that a little awkward? What was I thinking? Please invite your parents over as well. Um, okay, see you at 7.30. You are free tonight, right? That's the problem. I, I'm, I'm not free tonight. Tomorrow then? I'm not free tomorrow either. I see. So, this is your way of telling me that this is not a feasible option? No, no, no. I'm interested. I mean, who wouldn't be? You're beautiful, intelligent, Practical. Just, it's just that I'm, you know, how should I oh. put it? Oh, oh, I should have read the signs. I'm so sorry. Signs? Yeah, the working out, the grooming, the outfits. What? No, 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 oh, I'm not. Oh. Isn't that the girl from the coffee house? You, I need to talk to you now. Excuse us. Looks like I'm not grounded. Yeah, so I'll see you later, Eddie. Uncle Eddie. Dad. Thanks for letting me go. You can trust me.
I promise I won't touch any of the beer. Oh, I'm sure you won't. Dad, I'm gonna have to pay the guys back for the beer. Of course you are. And I'm obviously giving you too much allowance for you to cover other people's drinks. From next month onwards, your allowance will be halved. Empty the rest of the cans and put it in the bag. And throw the bag into the recycling station on your way out. Have fun, shall I? And there's one more thing we need to do. What's the big deal about me paying for your meal? What's the big deal? It implies a lot! It implies that I'm a nice guy. It implies that you are the kind of person who uses his money to exert influence over others. You think that just by paying for my meal, I am going to think that you are a nice guy? You think that I'm a weak-minded imbecile whose opinion of you can be swayed by a calculated, so-called generous gesture? Well, guess what, you pompous baboon? I still think you're an arrogant jackass and your money is not going to change the opinion of that. <clears throat> Do you have tissue? Trust me, I wasn't thinking that at all. It doesn't bother me what you think of me. Do you care what I think of you? Take your money back. No, use the money and pay it forward. Buy someone lunch. Be nice for a change. Whatever, man. What? No smarty pants comebacks? I'm leaving for work. <laughs> Let's do lunch sometime. What happened? I hope she's not angry because she saw you with me. Huh? I saw you talking to her at the coffee house yesterday. I understand perfectly now. You do? Why we can't have dinner? She's your girlfriend, right? Uh, yeah. Yes, yes. We we just started dating. I understand. If you're ever available again, give me a call. Okay? Oh, Ben. Can you give me a kopi? I'd like it gao. And can you go easy on the sugar? Of course. Thanks. Oh, and the table's a bit sticky. Can you wipe it again, please? I don't want to get my laptop dirty. No problem. Thank you. And, and can you make the aircon a bit less cold? Yeah, it's a bit cold. Can. Okay. Thanks. Oh, Ben. Also, I learned to bake these from an online tutorial. Here's a banana walnut for you. Try. Thank you. How is it? Good, right? Not too bad. Okay, I'll bake some more for you. Please, Ma! It's my wedding! It's my daughter's wedding. And her wedding must have the pengantin. Hello? Waalaikumsalam. Ah, uh, Aga. Oh, really? Ah, terima kasih. Ah, okay, okay. Assalamualaikum. Bye. Good news. You mean you need to look pengantin? No. Macam dia just told me that she can help us get the packaging for the tulip pengantin in JB. They have a lot of nice designs Ma, there. I still need someone to boil the eggs. Then hurry up lah and find eight hundred over eggs. Ah, okay, okay, okay lah. You want to give the chocolate? You can give it together with the tolo pengantin. Really? Thank you, Ma! Thank you! Go. Don't get Michael involved in these kind of things again. You understand? You know what I'm talking about. Michael? Ling, green bean soup good for you. Thanks, Ma. Ma, hmm? you have something to tell me? Ah, uh, no, no. <laughs> Anna, you promised not to tell anyone. Ah, uh, I, I, I didn't tell. I, I, I didn't tell. 
What's going on? Uh, Michael? Mom! I said no chalet means no chalet. Get back to your room. I've already handed the matter. That's not enough. We need to send him a strong message that he did wrong. It's just a small matter. Small matter? But it's alcohol involved. What if he starts drinking? What if he becomes alcoholic? You're being too harsh on him. Yeah, I'm not like you. You're always a good guy. Yeah. You are his father, not his friend. So act like the father. What are you doing? I'm making cupcakes. Why suddenly so interested in baking? How long are you going to take? I need to prepare dinner. Your brother's coming over to eat. Okay. Um, um, how do I on the oven? So everything's set? Okay, good. See you next week. Bye! Who is that? Oh, my photographer. Just to make sure that it's all set for the pre-wedding shoot next week. Your wedding is three weeks later. How come you are taking wedding photos next week? That's why it's called pre-wedding photo shoot, ma. Pre as in before. But how can you take couple couple photos before you get married? Why not? I mean, in those photos, the couples are hugging, uh, holding hands, about to kiss each other. All kind of funny poses lah. Ma, we don't have to kiss each other. But this pre-wedding shoot is the in thing. No, you cannot take those kind of photo. Not before your wedding. But Ma, all my friends have done pre-wedding shoot. I said no. Ma. No. Ma. No. Hey, go, 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 go. Ah. <laughs> you okay? Stress over wedding preparations. You know Lina, right? A simple wedding is a no-go for her. Well, it's once in a lifetime. That's why. She wants this, she wants that. I try to make her happy, I give myself stress. Sorry, bro. Wedding planning and all that stuff. <laughs> I can't help you. It's okay. I'm just letting off steam. What to do? I'll try my best to make it all happen for her. <laughs> okay. Good luck. Wait, what if you get thirsty, huh? You're sending a message to the children that what I say doesn't count. This is my way of disciplining him. So I'll do it my way. Yeah, she can discipline him better. So what? You expect me to toe the line? and do things the way you want it done? Ling, this is not your office. Please try to remember that I'm your husband, not someone on your payroll. Hi, Ma. I heard that Anne and you are not going for another date. News travels fast. 
That's fair enough. You shouldn't have two girlfriends at the same time. Oh, of course, ma. I'm hungry. What's for dinner? But I'm curious. About? How come you never mentioned about her? Who? Your new girlfriend. <laughs> well, I... I'd love to meet her. Bring her home. Sometime soon. Okay. Uh, Sulaiman, move closer to Lina. Uh, Lina, can you lean back? Lean back a bit to... Like that ah? Uh? Yeah, a bit more. Oh. Uh? Mrs. Roman, what are you doing? They are too close. But Mark, we husband and wife, we have to be close! After the wedding! Uh, Mrs. Roman, if you separate them from the show to love. Yeah. Wait, 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 I'm getting giddy! Ooh. No! No!